Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to review for you a new ocarina that I just bought. <clears throat> um, this is a Tenor G ocarina from Focalink. Um, I got this through Songbird Ocarinas um, and I just want to talk about how much I love it <laughs> because I do. Um, they call it a seed pod ocarina but um, it's really a pendant style. You've got your four holes on the front, as usual, and uh, two holes on the back for your thumbs. So it's a six hole ocarina. Um, and it does come with a nice little necklace attachment, which is super cute. I don't like how the beads clink on the ceramic. It makes me afraid that they're gonna scratch it, but <laughs> it hasn't happened yet, so it must be very tough. <laughs> um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is how nice the sound is of the tenor G. Um, it's quite a bit lower than an alto C. It's actually a whole fourth lower. Um, so your high notes are not as stringent <laughs> and uh, your low notes are really pretty and kind of haunting. Um, so it has that very mellow sound compared to some of the higher ocarinas. Um, and I will play a song for you after I do this review as well as a scale so you kind of can get an idea of the range. Um, since it has the two thumb holes, it does go from a low G all the way up to a high B. Um, that low G, of course, still being the G above middle C. <laughs> so it's not quite as low as you might expect. Um, one thing that I did want to note is I really love these glossy finishes and I think they're so beautiful, um, but it does attract a lot of fingerprints as you can see, um, and that's less ideal. So if you're the kind of person who is not really into polishing your ocarina all the time, you might go for more of a matte finish like the straw fire. Um, but it is a super beautiful ocarina and I am super impressed by the workmanship because um, it really does sound so pretty. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.